Well, I've been working on this uh, low-cost, no-weld pipe fence uh, copy cat from uh, using chain link parts. So real pipe, you know, I'd be going out and I'd be buying it from a scrap yard or a pipe yard and it'd be thousands of dollars for each section. So, but I use chain link instead, which is much less expensive. I do, I should have mentioned anything that's galvanized, you can't weld safely uh, without a respirator because the uh, zinc, if you weld on that, uh, that's bad for you. You'll get uh, metal sickness from that. So, uh, but I'm not welding. I'm drilling and tapping and doing just a whole bunch of stuff. So I came here to, to paint and I thought, oh, I'll do a little in-between video of me painting. But I realized there's enough stuff for me to do. I've decided to uh, cut the tops and uh, I see I missed a couple of screws here and there, so I'm going to be doing that. Uh, same thing over here on this side, uh, this run. So, um, and I have some straps I want to put on, some uh, stainless steel straps. So just a little bit of work that I need to get done. In addition, I've got a brand new microphone, so I'm going to be trying that out. So I'll see whether or not this audio is even working. Uh, but I'll, I'll put us on stop motion while I do most of this, so I'll save the video, <laughs> even if the audio is not working. So I bought this camera uh, that I'm using on um, uh, um, eBay. And, uh, you know, it's a six or $800 camera. I only paid 150 bucks. And then I paid him. I said, hey, if you don't make me drive, if you ship it to me, I'll give you $20 more. Well, in addition to the camera, he included all the battery, advanced battery packs. Uh, he included three Rhodes microphones. And this is one of the little Rhodes microphone. It doesn't even use a battery. It just uses the camera battery. So I'm giving it a whirl. But the Rhodes mics alone were two or 300 bucks a piece. So $1,000 worth of mic plus the 800 dollar camera for 150 just uh, you know when i win uh on deals i get excited about that it, it's a good thing but uh anyway let me get this cleaned up uh one last thing here most of these have um most of these have uh pegs sticking out of them that i won't use so i will take my uh my saws all and I'll saws all them off. I've got carbide tips uh, with uh, crushed carbide on them that's used for cast iron. I don't know, maybe they'll work. And then I have your conventional metal, metal ones that I'll be using. Uh, so I'm gonna put these all on there after I, uh, well, maybe I'll cut them all before I cut the pipes and see how that works. So let me do that. Anyway, a lot of cleanup that I have to do. Uh, saying I'm here to paint, that's premature. Let me do some of this. All right. Let's see how close I can get to that. That one. There's a carbide grit assortment pack. Uh, carbide, <laughs> carbide grit assortment pack. I uh, don't know what these cost. Nine inch, four inch. Let's see here. I'm gonna try a little six inch here and see if that will work for me. All right, carbide grit against uh, what I believe is probably aluminum. I would say no. Let me get a conventional metal blade. Conventional metal blade versus an aluminum. Wow. All right, so I'm trying to keep from having to grind a lot, so I'm trying to carve these on the, uh, you know, the angles that they are. I'm gonna need some gloves, probably some clamps, I don't know. But there is a lot more work than just painting. <laughs> I was being way optimistic. Well, for those of you who haven't been watching my show, uh, like, subscribe, sure, but this thing around my neck is actually a wearable air conditioning unit. It, asks, uh, it lasts up to two and a half hours in the hot Texas sun. And there's plates, there's little piezoelectric plates in here that get down to 63. So on the back and sides of my neck, I have uh, you know a real cool interface and then there's fans that are blowing the cool air up across my face. So that's what this thing is, it's not a neck brace.
These ones that are at a couple of angles, they're really hard to cut because my saw blade won't fit in there without causing me trouble. Really hard to cut. Sometimes it does pay to be a cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> Those ugly ones are like $2.80 a piece to buy. But listen, I bought them, they're in there, I'm going to use them because that's the way of a Texas rancher, I guarantee you. Uh, anyway, I'll get them all sorted around, they'll look okay. They're, I've only got two more to cut. Alright, a whole hodgepodge mix of balls and caps, post caps, but got four of these horses so the uh, a lantern will come out here I'm gonna leave that for the moment because I might end up having a I don't know the sign a shelf I don't know something who knows another horse these all look level this will need some screws in there an interesting story on how I bent this uh, top post and I did a good job when you look at it it's a little off not bad I used the uh, <laughs> radius of the wheel and I propped it up on uh, a hill over there and I drove over it until I got the radius that I wanted. And uh, not half bad, not half bad. It's a little off, but not half bad. The camera will make it look more off than it really is. All right, so all I need to do is tighten everything up uh, the right distance. And uh, I got enough matching caps in every section that your eye doesn't deliberately notice a problem. Considering what to do over there, I do have two rounds, but I think I'll leave it that way. We'll see. All right, I bought a bunch of these. I couldn't find any decorative caps or anything fancy here, so I'm not gonna go fancy. But we'll give it a finished look. I'll tap all those on before I paint them. get all those on. I can't do it while I'm holding a camera. Let me get all those on. What does these say they are? They say they're 1.38 chain link post caps. So there you go. All right, getting later on me. I'm finding a couple of strip screws here and there and I'm fixing them as I go. All right, so before I finish painting, let's finish doing my job uh, prep work, which I had gotten bored. So some of these, uh, while I was tightening, they stripped. And so what I'm gonna do is go in here with a C-clamp and I'm gonna um, tighten this up with a C-clamp first. And then I'm hoping that, uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping that, uh, there's enough thread left on the bolt and or not that it will uh, tighten up. Man, they, these are really something. I'm not getting any more juice out of this.
I don't think that this is gonna work. This one's pretty bad. Uh, the C clamps, not enough juice. Which really surprises me. I thought it would just tighten these right up. I'm not getting anything out of this. Wow. All right. Well, I'm gonna finish spray painting it then and just get grade eight bolts and come back. Those little aluminum bolts aren't enough for me and I, the, the C-clamp I did did not work. So that didn't work because they just slipped right off. But well, all my solar lights are beginning to turn on and I'm close, looky. It's looking really good. Everything's straight, lined up. I stripped a bolt or two tightening. I'm going to have to buy new bolts for them. I don't know what they're made of, but uh, they're not grade A steel, that's for sure. Uh, one last thing I need to do is this thing here that I bent so I have a little more headroom. I need to get it where I like it and then uh, put some screws in it, paint it. Uh, but everything looks even. I need one more screw down there I've missed. I'm going to go ahead and put that in right now. Uh, looking good. Looking good.